Hello Glossy family, welcome back to my channel with another new video of how to remove stains from your skin or any kind of impurities from your skin. Thanks for watching and God bless you. And if you are new to my channel, I want to say you are welcome to, now, to my returning subscribers, my viewers, my audience and those watching and commenting on my videos. I want to say thank you. As you know, in this channel, I do everything skincare, hair care with natural remedies and ingredients from your kitchen. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to remove stains from your skin with potato juice and my charcoal soap. I don't know if you have seen this video, but I am going to leave the um, on the description box the link directly to how I activated this charcoal soap and make it very effective. Uh, effective for on the skin so guys how you be needing you can use any soap of your choice any bath soap or mid soap for to be on the safer side i will advise you to use baby soap please don't do this with a bleaching soap or any soap that you suspect or you know has any bleaching agent in it save yourself the stress so you won't get your face burnt avoid any soap with bleachy ingredients on it. Please use baby soap to be on the safe side. As you can see, the video is self-explanatory and I'll be coming off and on to tell you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, I just went ahead, I graded my soap. The same thing I'm doing with my potatoes. You can blend your two potatoes, but if you know you are going, you have a strong blender that will blend without water, it is fine. You don't need water in this recipe. So one, once you're done, you try to extract as much juice from the potatoes because we'll be using the potatoes juice. Just the way I'm doing. Why? Because of this, because the amino acid on potatoes, it is good for the skin. It helps remove stains from the skin. Sometimes we have good, great skin, but just because they are um, kind of stick with some impurities or stains, we see them as, um, I don't, I know, I don't get fine skin, a uh, fine skin. Oh, tell you, you have a fine skin, just that you need something to get rid of those stains, something natural. So this video is for you. If you're struggling with skin imperfections or you're trying to enhance or glow your skin, this video is for you. I just went ahead and extract the juice from my potatoes. In this recipe, you'll be needing potatoes, oil, any body oil of your choice. I use the almond oil. That particular almond oil is also great for uh, stretch mark. So I use that particular almond oil. You can use any oil of your choice and rose water. It is essential you add rose water to this mixture because rose water on its own is great to help you to help reduce irritations or prevent irritations. So applying a natural things on skins at times could bring some outbreak of uh, irritations or inches. So when you add rose water, it kind of dilutes this reaction process so you won't feel it even if it is reacting or to prevent the risks so you add some rose water to to it just let me know what you think on this of this video on the comment, comment section and if you are trying it has or if you have any question i'll be waiting for you in the comment section so we can interact my name is susan and you are watching glossy tip so what i do I went ahead and heat up my my soap. You can also do with this process with a double um, steam method by adding water in the pot, putting your double steam method. But I I don't have time, and I was in kind of a hurry. I needed to complete this video, so I just did it directly. First of all, you heat your soap up. Once your soap is well melted or almost melt, you now add your potato juice you are not going to cook the potato juice at all you are just going to allow it to 
accompany the soap through the melting process. Once you see the soap is completed, complete, completely melted, you just have your flame. You know this soap, if you watch this video, you see this soap has a lot of other ad uh, additional ingredients of in on this soap. So it is super effective. That is why I didn't stress myself and adding enough or others oil. I just use holy hammered oil. This is me adding two spoons of um, rose water, but you can add has, has three spoons, depends on the quantity you are making. Believe me, this thing, this mixture is great for your face and your skin or any part of the body you are struggling with. And this mixture don't make much quantity because there's no preservative on it. Just make a little quantity that you will need maybe within the space of three days to one week. And this you can also put in the fridge if you wish. But mind you, if you are adding coconut oil to, to this, I won't advise you to put it in the fridge because it's going to kind of stiff or freeze. So make a little quantity so you avoid wastage. My, my mixture is ready. And right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer it to my bottle jar. And it is ready to be applied. I apply this on my face, my face well washed. Because normally when I'm treating my face, after washing with the soap, I like to dry, stay dry for 5 to 10 minutes. So though, if there is any dead cell, dead skin, they can rise up. Then what I uh, do after I apply my mud, which my mud uh, max, which I did off camera. You s I only show the removing process because I don't want to bore you with my, with my long video applying mud so i just went ahead apply my mud i like to dry while my, I, my mud was on i was busy preparing this in the key kitchen this is me tr transferring the mixture into the, my bottle jar i'm sorry my i didn't observe my hands we are covering the whole process but I'm, i guess you understand what i'm doing so voila this is this is it this is super effective rich and your skin believe me we appreciate it not for the fact that they are natural ingredients ingredients does not mean your skin would not react to it remember we have different type of skin so i advise you before you proceed on the on the full face covering do a kind of patch test and see if your skin will welcome or react to it if your skin react to it please discontinue this is me showing you example that you can apply it on any part of your body where you're struggling with or any where you think needs, you need to enhance the, that particular a part of the body, the color. So this is me showing you example. I just did some patch test on my hand. After which I rest off, believe me, the sensation was smooth, lovely. All right, guys, like I said before, why I applied this uh, mod max I didn't um volcanic volcanic mud mask. I didn't show you the video. I did it, I did it off camera. I just came back to tell you this is the process include in doing this. You can skip this or you can if you want to skip this process, you can steam your face. You can steam it with a steaming machine or the traditional steaming way. Soak um soak some towel, clean towel in a hot, not exaggerated hot water in the warm hot water excuse the excess water out of it and use it to tap your face place it on your face for three to five minutes that is face steaming you don't have to buy a machine if you don't have money for that you can also steam your face traditionally that is fine or but rather you can boil a put on a boiling water on the stove once it's boiled turn off the flame open the water the vapor place your face towards the vapor and the heat the vapor from it will steam your face traditionally. That is another way to save money if you don't have money. Who tell you said they're not they're fine without money? You can do it. You can be fine and beautiful without money on learning things from this channel. All right, guys. I've removed my, my max. I've washed my face. And right now, I'm applying my 
stain remover mixture this stain remover mixture i love it because you can also use it for your own body it is super effective and the ingredients are fishable potatoes who don't have potatoes in their kitchen that is the base ingredient because potatoes remove skin uh, stains from the skin remove skin in, um, impurities and once you get rid of stains dirty from your skin you see your skin will glow your skin color will come aside your skin color will boost so that is just it's as simple as that when it's just like removing stains from anything what does mean that that thing become attractive glow and shine period so you want that on your face give it 10 minutes wait 5 to 10 minutes wait and you are done and please like i said before if you are using a bleaching soap don't do this recipe don't try it use it be on the safer side use dove palm olive or rather baby soap so to avoid getting your face burnt and sit looking for remedies please note that don't say i didn't tell you i'm going to repeat this again towards the ending of this video and if you've watched this far and you've not considered subscribing what are you waiting for click the button and subscribe all right glossy family this is the final look i just came out from the bedroom i washed with the lukewarm water and i'm here to show you how it looks so you can see the result result recommended or not i recommend it twice a week can you apply the soap once it start getting dry just wash off you don't need you don't need eternity to, uh, to react five minutes is okay but if you want to extend it to turn and uh, with three minutes more if the choice is yours but please when using this this mixture make sure that the base soap is not a bleaching cream and has no bleaching content in it or bleaching ingredient in it please don't try it with any soap that you know or you suspect has a bleaching agent in it for be on the safety side you can use a baby shampoo a baby soap to be on the safety side we are talking about your face here remember this is the face before the body so guys let's see how it looks wow okay dry my skin up My face is so fresh, super cool, and lovely. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to apply my face cream. I have a video of how I made this, activated, activated this face cream with ingredients. I'm going to leave the video directly to this, uh, uh, I'm going to leave, leave the link directly to this video. On the description box just if you want to see how i make this amazing cream or how i mixed this amazing face cream it's super nourishing at this moment my face needs to be well moisturized so i'm using this i don't know how you apply a cream on your face but but this is how i applied mine hopefully someone find this video helpful informative and worth trying Please let me know your thought on this video and how you feel your skin will react to this uh, mixture. Remember, you're watching Lucy Tips. And if you find this video helpful and all you feel the need to support my channel because you love what I'm doing, please hit the subscription button and make it great. And beside there is the notification button. Don't forget to use the whole options whenever you are activating the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video until next time i come across your beautiful screen again i'm susan you're watching glossy tips and please stay blessed and be beautiful thanks for watching love you all see you